Well, instead of barbecuing and watching fireworks, hundreds of people are protesting the recent overturn of Roe versus Wade, which ended federal abortion rights. Fox News' Amelia McGavro is live tonight at our Spark St. Louis Ballpark Village Bureau with more from both sides of the debate. Amelia. Yeah, Vic, 4th of July festivities were actually interrupted by that peaceful protest here downtown. But protest organizers tell me having that protest on America's birthday sends an even bigger message. We won't go back! We won't go back! We More than 500 people taken to the streets of downtown St. Louis. All to peacefully protest the recent Supreme Court decision to overturn Roe versus Wade and end federal abortion rights. Organizer Lauren Wright says she intentionally chose the 4th of July to hold this event. So we picked Independence Day to symbolize that we don't have the same level of independence that men have in this country now, that people who can't birth have in this country now, and we're going to fight. Many people holding up signs, and despite the grueling heat, people wore all black to, quote, mourn the right they lost. This is America's birthday, and typically we celebrate, we're happy, we gained our freedom on this day, but unfortunately, last week we lost our freedom as women. Like, we lost our right to choose, and we have to voice that. And today's the perfect day to do that. Police and EMS crews followed the crowds as they marched down Market Street, eventually protesting right in the middle of 4th of July festivities at Fair St. Louis. Some fairgoers not happy about it. Well, I don't think it was right because it's a private party. We celebrate 4th of July and they had a bitch come running in here hollering and screaming and scaring the little kids. Archbishop Mitchell Rosansky had this to say for the pro-choice side of Roe versus Wade. Our nation's history has taught us that no group of human beings should be classified in law as non-persons. When they are, there are terrible consequences for individuals and for society, and that has certainly been true of abortion. We will need to be more determined than ever to walk with moms in need. Anyone who feels overwhelmed by pregnancy should have places to turn for practical help. We need to be committed to providing that help. And again, this was a peaceful protest today, and protesters who entered the fair did so legally and with police supervision. And protest organizers do tell me that though today was very impactful, the real impact will be in the hands of voters with the November election. Reporting from the Spark St. Louis Bureau at Ballpark Village, I'm Amelia McGalbro. Back to you.